Okay, welcome to my upstairs. <laughs> That's falling apart. Uh, I'm in the truck, but my wife's in the bottom bunk. And uh, so I'm up top. I have uh, watched a couple videos that I really enjoyed. Uh, one was uh, by God Stories that said uh, what's truly important. And then I watched one. Uh, gospel over gimmicks about Bible buying guide and I really enjoyed them now I carry three Bibles right now on my truck I've had as many as five but I always keep my uh, my common man reference Bible which I totally love and I take my most of my notes in it although you do, do, wouldn't look like it by <laughs> But, uh, and I use his references all the time. I absolutely love this Bible. And I got it in a case to protect it on the, uh, on the truck. And then I, uh, have my hand size Ruckman reference that I don't mark in. And, uh, I'm trying to keep it nice. And I keep it in a little case on the truck. Uh, and these are, uh, what I would consider uh, pretty expensive Bibles because uh, you know they're leather bound this one's uh, uh, iron calf skin this one's lamb skin and I've got it in that in a leather case uh, to protect it <clears throat> so I, I do have quality Bibles and uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it but I keep going back to this thing and I wanted to show y'all that <laughs> Maybe a lot of my older viewers will remember I did a redneck rebind. This has got that kind of a cardboard cover. It is Smith Sewn. That used to say King KJV. Uh, and uh, this Bible cost me ten dollars, and uh, I use this all the time. Uh, it doesn't even have gold, you know, edges or anything paper's not real great but I like the uh, large letters and I just want to say that I, I believe that uh, you know this one's just as good as these as far as the words of God are contained uh, in the King James Bible so this one's Smith's own you can get this uh, Hendrickson for I think they're a little more expensive now I think they're up to like $14 it has ghosting, um, but I really like it because I'm not worried about uh, messing it up. But you know, if you look at the history of the King James Bible and what people, or the Bible in general, the, all of them, what they went through, the people died for this book. There are people, uh, she made a good point, <clears throat> uh, God stories about you know, the people that uh, don't have the Word of God, and we're pri privileged. I have several copies of the Bible, and uh, I give them away. I, uh, a lot of them, I gave a few to my granddaughters just the other day. So, but it doesn't matter if you have a very expensive Bible with a really nice, uh, cover and it's oh it's so beautiful and everything this is beautiful this Bible right here is beautiful to me uh, it it just I don't know it kind of expresses me a little bit but it's uh it's the words of God that matter the pure words of God not the uh, what how expensive your Bible is uh, I do use reference Bibles. I use commentaries. I, 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 you know, I, well, to be honest, I don't read much of anything anymore except the Bible. I've become a man of one book. But, you know, I'll, I'll look at what uh, Ruckman has to say or what Hoffman has to say about certain things. But it's usually the Holy Spirit that will teach you It'll get you a pure just a regular nothing but the Bible nothing but the King James Bible and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you 
as you read. And that's way better than any reference Bible, folks. God, the Holy Spirit of God, wrote this book. And he can teach you this book. He knows what it says. And he knows what uh, he wants to put, He what he wants you to get out of it that day. You can read this thing over and over and it will say something different each time. Why? Because it's living. The Word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. And I just love my little $10 Bible. Anyway, I, I, that's just kind of a response uh, to God's stories. Uh, I thought that was a great video. And it's not all about how beautiful your Bible is. It's how, how much you put written on your heart. Uh, what have, what do you do with that book? Uh, in my opinion, this one is just as good, if not better than these. Of course, my eyes are getting bad, so, uh, you know, that print is pretty small. And then this print, I can just read so much easier. So, anyway, get yourself a good Bible. Uh, this is Smith's own, folks. I would recommend it. It's a Hendrickson. Of course, it won't come with the duct tape on it. Uh, but it's a Hendrickson uh, super giant print, I believe it's called. And I think they're $14. It's Smith's own. This thing's held together on the truck. Now, the cover is that cardboard stuff. That's why I put the tape on it. Um, because it was already just with a little bit of use. It was, you know, starting to tear and stuff. And I just, I just put the tape on it. And it's, you know... When did I get this thing? In uh, 2019. So, anyway, that's uh, one of my favorite Bibles I own right here. I keep it on the truck with me. And uh, right now I'm down to three. But anyway, that's just a response. Uh, it's not uh, how much you paid for it. It's how much you write on your heart. Uh, how much you believe this book. If we really, truly believe this is the Word of God, then leather covers and uh, uh, 16 ribbons that are different color and 40 foot long does not matter. It's writing it on your heart. Uh, David said that I write your, I uh, put your word on my heart so that I might not sin against thee. Uh, so, anyway, just a quick video, show you the Bibles I'm carrying on the truck, and my luxurious uh, accommodations here. Isn't that wonderful? Why would anybody want to be a truck driver? I don't know, but I can't sing or dance. Anyway, may the Lord bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day. Uh, remember to read these. You can put as many as you want on your shelf in boxes, and it does you no good. Open this book up and let the Lord speak to you. Then pray without ceasing. And I don't mean just constantly pray. I mean be in a prayerful mind. Allow the Lord uh, to speak to you through his word, and then you speak to him. Jesus said, let your requests be made known unto me. So... Anyway, I hope all of y'all are having a wonderful day, and may the Lord bless each and every one of you.